What's up, guys? It's Lefty here, and I have a best bet on tonight's Monday night football game I want to discuss real quick. But first, tomorrow at midnight, or really Wednesday, November 2nd, I'm unlocking the Betting Network Discord. It's been a private Discord where I post real, actionable information. It's not like any of these other group chats or Discords or VIP packages. I mean, um, did any of your group chats know... Uh, that the man himself, the myth, Billy Walters, bet Washington yesterday? Well, we did, and I have screenshots to prove it. Um, that's how far my reach goes. This info I share has always been for private, invite-only members, but you'll now have a chance to see how it all works, how information is shared, see the line moves in real time based on this information, and most importantly, how to apply the information. And, um, you know, don't even listen to me um, in my little uh, sales pitch here. Just join and then ask some of the members that have been in here since 2019. You know, this isn't a pick selling group. So if you're looking for 100 unit lock play of the year bets, don't even bother. You have a long way to go before understanding, um, you know, what we're really doing here in the, uh, the Discord community now. Because of this big change and everything that's been going on um, and me being really like a one-man show when it comes to uh, running the Betting Network Discord, um, I've been spending a lot of time this past week focused on the back-end stuff of the Discord and getting ready for the big launch, which means less time breaking down games. I didn't even do my weekly power ratings this week. Um so the bets I made were mostly based on feel and market analysis. Worked out okay. Um, I have one bet still pending, and that's the one I'm going to discuss in this video. Uh, before this week, I was already very curious about where I would have this team rated specifically. Um, I made the bet on Saturday, and if this team handles business tonight like I think they will, um, when I update my ratings and rankings this week, I think they'll uh, not just be in the top five of my power ratings overall, but, you know, top five net EPA, which is expected points added, and then uh, top five DVOA or defensive value over adjustment, which is three different metrics I think measure a team's true ability very accurately. Obviously, I'm not talking about the Browns here, so my bet is on the Bengals. Uh, yes, losing Chase Hurts, but luckily for the Bengals, they have good depth at wide receiver with Higgins and Boyd, and the Browns' defense is just really so bad. Uh, before last week, I had them as a bottom five defense in the league, I believe. Also, I'm pretty sure the Bengals have been preparing for being without Chase and kind of practicing knowing that he would be out. You know, no chase, no problem here for the Bengals tonight. My only concern, I guess, would be the Bengals reverting back to their old their old ways. You know, Cleveland defensively is likely going to go man-to-man -man coverage uh, without Jamar Chase out there, and this could cause Burrow some issues. And if the Bengals head coach, Zach Taylor, has Burrow go back under center, and goes with a run heavy on first down game plan or basically back to what they did early in the season. It worries me a little bit. Um, I just hope the Bengals stick to what they've been doing and what's working for them. Uh, Bengals were so predictable first few weeks of the season, but in the past two weeks, we've seen a big change. Um, you know, they've gone to shotgun formation, 90% of snaps the last two weeks, which is, you know, Burrow's sweet spot where he feels comfortable. And uh, it's shown in um, uh, efficiency numbers, and it's made the run game better too. Bengals are now ranked third in pass rate above expectation. And if they stick to the script, we'll be fine. But I do have a backup plan for members of the Discord community um, that I'm going to speak about more. Uh, in there later and I'm kind of hoping it happens because it'll give us a really good uh, live in-game betting opportunity but um, yeah Bengals minus three uh, for my best bet you might be able to still get uh, minus three and a half I think um, but the discord members got three a couple days ago when I first posted it um, you know Bengals facing probably the easiest defensive opponent of the season 
that they'll see. And the Bengals' defense has improved a lot since the first couple weeks of the season. Now they get Brissett, who was obviously, um, you know, dipping. Um, you know, I don't think there's a QB who's dipped more than Brissett has in the last three weeks. And now he's throwing into a Bengals defense that's trending upwards. Uh, my first thought was bet over Bengals team total 23 and a half, which when I first looked earlier in the week, that was actually available. And on a normal week, I would have locked that bet in. I would have clicked it right in immediately, but I do still like over the 24 and a half team total. I just haven't bet it yet. Uh, I have a bunch of player props I like, and I'll post them in the discord community later today. I could go on and on and on about this game, but I'm going to stop here. But just remember, November 2nd, the Betting Network team is opening its doors for new members who want to learn the right way from someone who's been betting, you know, 20 plus years. Uh, this will be the last membership you'll ever have to try because once you're in, nobody leaves. So good luck with whoever you bet tonight. Hope to see you on the next one. And as always, May all the umps calls and may all the loose balls go your way.